G'day folks and welcome to another Formation Adventure. Today we're going to explain to you how the Formation system works in our van. Essentially, the Formation system is Volkswagen's version of an all-wheel drive system. It's a very clever and sophisticated system that's been developed over many years of research and development. Now I might add that when you go off-roading, traction is one of the best ways to keep forward progress. Now what does that mean? Well, keeping these tyres in contact with the surface you're driving on. Now we know it's not always possible, but that is the fundamental of safe, four-wheel driving, all-wheel driving, whatever you want to call it. Enough of the chit-chat, it's time for some formation action. And what we're going to do now is take the van through an obstacle that we've got set up at the Great Divide Tours Driver Training Facility, where we currently run our formation driver training courses. Now I've got to say, right from the go-get, we do not recommend you putting your vans through an obstacle like this unless you're experienced or have no choice. This is purely for demonstration purposes and it is definitely done in a controlled environment. I've got a lot of experience as a four-wheel drive tour guide in all sorts of trucks. So just keep that in mind when you're traveling around. This is an all-wheel drive. It is not a four-wheel drive and should be driven uh, to that capacity. Right, uh, what I'm gonna do now is show you this track and talk you through where we're going to have some issues. So as you can see, this track has got some pretty big holes and the wheels are going to lose traction as we go through this track. So what we're going to be relying on is a formation system doing its thing. You can see our GoPro, we're going to try and get some different footage. And the formation system is going to work by Stopping power gun, the wheels that lose traction, and the rear diff lock is going to help push through the obstacle. And the beauty by having the rear diff lock is that we're going to go nice and slow. Now, with the formation system, you do find that you have to accelerate a bit for it to activate. So just keep that in mind as you're travelling through a track like this. Right, so even though our formation system is really clever. We've got another trick up our sleeve to help us get through that difficult terrain, and that's by way of a rear differential lock. Now, the way that can help us is that when we get to that situation where one of the rear wheels, the left or the right, loses traction, the rear differential being locked will ensure that power continues to go to the wheel that loses traction and the wheel that has traction at the same time. And that can help us manage that obstacle a lot safer uh, therefore reducing risk of damage and assisting us in that forward progress. To activate the rear diff lock is really simple. There's a button up here on the instrument panel um, just underneath the vent and I'll show you that right now. And you just press that button, the light will be illuminated. When that light is illuminated, you'll get a light appear in the instrument cluster panel and you'll know that when that's solid, it's activated. When it's flashing, it hasn't activated yet, and sometimes you need to drive forward or back to get that um, activated. So just keep that in mind. Okay, here we go. Seatbelt on, safety first, diff lock activated. Now I'm going to be driving in first gear, the lowest gear I can in the van, just to go nice and slow. As I drive through these moguls, notice that the rear wheels are turning at the same time, irrespective of the fact that one wheel has lost traction. That's thanks to the rear differential lock. It's absolute magic. The fact that that rear differential is locked allows me to drive nice and slow and in total control, therefore reducing the risk of damage and allowing me to gently lower the van back to the track. Righto, at the front end of the van, you can see that traction control working with the four motion system. So what's happening is, as that wheel loses traction, power to the wheel is being stopped by the engine, but the traction control is also kicking in and applying brake through the ABS system. We've taken some footage with our GoPro from under the van so you can see what's happening. 
Investing in underbody protection is not such a bad idea. In our case, we have an engine and gearbox guard and also some rock sliders, both supplied by Seekle. You can see by driving nice and slow how it can help in reducing damage and just making your drive nice and easy. Our mighty 4Motion V-Dub Tracker to All Terrain really is a great touring vehicle and with the 4Motion system and rear differential lock it just lets us go that little bit further and enjoy our travels safely. There you go, we've made it through that obstacle nice and safe. Now you might wonder why you want to go through an obstacle like that. Well, it might be to get to a cracker campsite or some other point of interest. But in any event, you can do it safely. And remember, if you're not experienced, please don't try it. Anyway, we're going to crack on now to the next adventure, all for the love of travel.